one take, Timmy. <laughs> All right, so my name is Louis Aquino. Uh, this is my music project, 1P. I'm here with my friend, Tony, interviewing him. Known him for 16 years. You know, way back. Yeah. So we're going to basically, we're going to, I want to know what makes you tick and push you along with your music and where you're at now today. Okay. So, what made you start to get into hip hop? Okay, we're going to, this is like, just for everybody to know, it's like, what, the four take? All right. So, um, <laughs> I'm redoing. Answers. Hey, you just got to make it better. We got to make it better. That's all that matters. All right, all right. So, um, what got me into hip hop? Let's see. Uh, I think it was my cousin Joel. I said this already to you. You know him? Yes. My cousin Joel, he used to rap. Well, not, I don't know if he rapped, but he used to write. He used to write, yeah, a yeah. Little bit. He was a ghostwriter. He was a ghostwriter, I guess, if you want to say. And uh, I used to just, you know, admire that. So I used to... Yeah, that's, that's where I uh, I got it from. You know, he used to write and, and listen to hip hop, and then, you know, he uh, I think he got the um, Slim Shady LP. There's a lot of noise around here. He got the Slim Shady LP. He bought it, and you know, my mother she never wanted me to like listen to hip hop or anything like that. But he was just like, you know, my, the older cousin. So of course he's gonna, you know, let me listen. Influence so, you. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, so. he let me listen to it. I just, it just changed my whole life after that. So, when you when you when did you first start like writing your own music and? I started when I was twelve or thirteen. I wrote a Christmas rap for my mom, and I read it to her, and she was like, you know, I mean, not, you know, she was like impressed that I was able to like put words together and rhyme and stuff like that, and that just made me want to continue. It made me want to continue. That's my mother. She's, she's so you so your mom is one of your biggest fans. Oh yeah. You know, she, even up to even even you know right now, you know I every song I make is for is for her her ears. That's why I started um taking out curses in my music and stuff like that because she listens. You know and I know that so. So. Well, what is what's your goal with the music now? What are you what are you trying to do? Your question. Um. <laughs> And he's not even writing these down. This is straight off the top, too. Uh, what is my goal? I used to, like, want money and cars and, like, women and shit like that. All the uh, kind of I, things in life. I can't curse in this, can I? Uh, it's okay. Don't worry. This is this is just me and you. Okay. So. And stuff like that. But now it's, it's, it's really about, like, respect. Like, you know, I just want people to respect me. And acknowledge. And you. acknowledge that the music is, is you know is up to par and you know great you know that's what that's that's kind of what I'm, I'm 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 yearning for now you know it's not about money it's not about cars it's just about maintaining this happiness and this um drive to to like you know to keep that inspiration and keep on being and improving inspired. your 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 craft yeah. making it better and better yeah. so okay all right so let me ask you this uh what kind of styles are you do you not consider well you you're a hip hop artist basically uh, you're upcoming, you know, you're working at it. And basically, I want to know, like, do you like mixing? Would you, do you mix uh, this type of styles? Oh, you mean like different music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. different genres. I yeah. listen to dubstep. I listen to everything other than hip-hop, really. Like, hip-hop, I've been listening to that for, like, 17, 18 years. And, you know, that's, that's like, boring to me now. Now it's it's really about, like mixing hip hop with these other genres, you know what I'm saying? Like um like dubstep like I said, like um like chill step and trance and you know what I'm saying? Like different like jazz and all this stuff that you can just put like a hip hop drum beat to and just, you know, blend the two and it's just like And keep it going, keep, keep it, it going flowing. and keeping it fresh and new, yeah. So I listen to everything. I, I try to incorporate everything in hip hop. Alright. Um I wanna know like your top five of all hip hop and a, a, not even just hip hop, I just like top five all musics that top like, five just yeah just basically favorite artists. favorite artists that just makes you just feel like I'm, I'm down for this. Um, 
I mean, other than Biggie and Tupac, I mean, that's like that's, that's a, a given. given. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They're like legends. They're not even on the same stratosphere as everybody else. They're like God type. Uh, but other than that, it's like Eminem. My favorite rap is uh, Eminem. Um, I like Redman. A lot of people don't put Redman in there in their list, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm a fan, I'm a big fan. Like Muddy Waters was like my, one of my favorite albums of all time and a lot of people don't say that. Kanye West of course, Jay Z and what am I that name for? And uh I don't know, somebody else. You uh, know? All right. So besides hip hop, what other what other type of style also like what other type of uh, artists that you look up to also? I mean Michael Jackson is like one of the biggest pop, you know, superstars in the world. It's not even about rap you know at this point it's about just making popular music that everybody loves loves yeah it's not about just one genre of music it's about just making music that everybody likes and enjoys so michael jackson did that you know what i'm saying every single song that he made every album that he made everyone enjoyed it you know what i'm saying from like kids to grown grown up so yeah that's that that would that to me is like an icon you know what i'm saying he's iconic all right uh Besides hip hop and dubstep, uh, what about like, let's go with uh, rock or, or alternative type styles? Yeah, uh, I'm a who- big alternative rock fan. I love uh, um, Creed. You know, um, nice band. Incub- Incubus. Seen them live. They're great. Did you? Yeah, it was awesome. Actually, it was for Lincoln Park and Incubus. It was uh, one of the Lincoln Warped Park, tours. Lincoln Park. Lincoln um, Park. I mean, I don't. The bad thing is, you know, like secondhand serenade and stuff like that. Like I listen to everything, but I don't, I don't listen to as much rock as I should. And I really like, I want to start getting it more into it, so I can like mix that more. But yeah, I do listen to rock. Yeah, real quick. Yo, fuck you in the city that put you up on the map. I ain't talking about safety belts when I tell you what's in my rap. So in other words, with no seats of a car, my lyrics is strapped to the day that I'm put inside of the ground. Y'all need to relax. You can't even stand on your own without features. You will collapse, and I mean it. In other words, all you dudes are ready to feed it. No homo when I say this shit, but y'all could just suck my penis. I graduated on top of my class. I'm a fucking genius. My sound is so underground, and sometimes you just can't believe it. I know the haters just want to see me cross as if I was Jesus, but independence is where the game's headed, and that's for leaders. The artist becomes a bitch, and the Labels become the breeders, you make the music and think shit is funny They probably worse than the IRS, I didn't come collect money But see I've learned from the niggas who came before me So all these haters is on me, do your thing when you rap If you sing too much it gets corny, my manager's giving me the Don't do it looking, I'm sorry, but fuck it I already told both my engineers to recall me I'm trying to chill on the show with these bitches who always call me From that day on they gon' probably just hit me up like yo poorly Jay-Z is an inspiration, not one of the CDs for me At least I know this is something that I can do when I'm 40 My buzz is Getting so loud, I doubt any of y'all could afford me It's probably best if you just don't respond and try to ignore me But homie, I'll catch a body, i tell you shorty to meet me At 8pm in a hotel, but won't show up at the lobby But if I did, I would let her play with my balls like it's volley And baby, look at who's talking, but we ain't popping no molly You see the shit that I'm doing, you hear the shit that I'm spitting It's almost like I got habits, just check the shit that I'm kicking I'm ill and going raw, and the chick, my shit is just sickening Just look at how icy tears, I'm advertising for lippings I'm hosting a photo shoot in New York, and I'm feeling to fix it. So any chick that I like, I'ma make a video vixen. I bet you should let me cut, cause my dick is like an addiction. I love me Caucasian women, I feel like I'm OJ Simpson. Put a stamp on the game, all these other rappers are kinda dope. This is the definition of pushing the fucking envelope. Dirty enough the game, when you hanging, you haters by the rope. Screw it, I think it's time you dudes meet the nigga behind the soap. Got a dream, no kaleidoscope. Rocking the polo tee with some supers up on my feet. And a pair of jeans that design the code up in class. Getting tired of sitting up in this seat. Let me finish writing this. Verse, the professor puts me to sleep It's like Jeepers Creepers With all y'all careers I play hide and seek And I ain't these rappers Man that's like the only way I'm complete If you here to see someone real Who just always murders the beat They come down to this open mic Shut the hell up and take a seat When you see me vibing on stage Leave a message after the beat Matter of fact this verse is so tough If you call my phone I won't speak Like my ex is twat After I broke a heart Man this shit is deep You would think your iPod got one song The way you hit and repeat Nigga